guys, it's your girl Faith L93 and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you how I did this cute half up, half down style that's been trending. This right here is my braid pattern and shout out to my mama for doing this braid pattern for me. I'm going to be using the Bobby Boss um, Brazilian Loose Deep Hair. And I believe I bought four packs of the hair. I'm just showing you what it looks like. And that's the only hair that I'm going to be using throughout, even for the braided part up top. So I'm just crocheting this hair in. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have seen how to crochet hair in. So this part is just going to be sped up fast. And I'm just going to let y'all listen to the music. And I'll come back and explain what I'm doing to the rest of my head when we get to the top section. <music> Alright guys, so for this top part, I'm going to be using the braid formula by Eben. And I have been loving this stuff um, more than the jam, the shining jam that I used to use. So I'm going to be using this and defining my parts with it. And also using it to braid my hair and to keep the flyaways away. This stuff works so good, especially if you have um, tightly coiled hair like 4C, 4B type hair. So right now we're just defining these parts, making sure that they are crisp and clean. And yes, so that's what we are doing right now. So now I'm going to be applying the braid formula to all parts of my hair. Um, and smoothing it down, slicking it down so that my braid is smooth, there's no flyaways, and that it looks crisp and clean and neat. So I am going to be doing feed-in braids. Um, I'm going to be taking seven strands of the crochet hair and braiding it into my hair. So right now we're adding our first strand in and you want to try to make the first few strands um, pretty s small in size um, and then you can gradually pick up bigger strands of hair as the braid gets bigger. So I'm not going to be braiding all the way down. I am going to leave a little bit of the curls left and we're just going to wrap a rubber band around it and that's how we're going to get the curly look of the hair and it's going to blend in with the rest of the crochet hair from the back. So I'm just literally repeating the whole process again, um, just defining my parts with the braid formula and then I'll be applying it all over to that section of hair, smoothing the braid, smoothing, well smoothing my hair um, for my braid. And I did leave out some of my edges because we're going to smooth those. That's going to be our baby hairs, you know, to complete the look at the end. So I'm just repeating this process um, throughout my whole head. I ended up doing seven braids in the front. Of course, you can do however many braids you want. You can put it in whatever design you want to. Um, I think that's like the beauty of this style. You can make it look 
as creative as you want. So I'm just going to let the music play um, while y'all watch me finish up my hair. And I will come back when I am done braiding the front of my hair down.
Okay, so now I've finished my braids and now I'm just going to be slicking my baby hairs down because, of course, what style is complete without the baby hairs, you know? So you gotta have those baby hairs and those edges sleeked down, okay? <laughs> So clearly I was feeling myself guys. I went and put on makeup and everything. Um, but right now I'm just putting some Lotta Body. Did I say that right? Lotta Body mousse on my hair. And a little bit of spritz to keep it in place. And I'm going to be using my handy dandy wrap strips. And it's just going to make for a sleeker look of my hair. Make sure that everything stays in place. So I'm going to let the rat strips sit for a few minutes and then we're going to cut them off and we will have the final look you guys. So I really like the way that this style turned out you guys. Um, and yeah, let me know in the comment section if you like it. It was super quick and easy and super duper cheap. I think I only paid about $26, $20 to $30 for the hair. And yeah, this style can last you for at least up to three weeks. So let me know if y'all decide to try it out in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think of it on myself. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.